people just sitting in the offices, oil and gas, banking, insurance, making so much money for themselves and leaving 180 million people behind. It is not possible to go on that list. Indeed, Malam Abbakari, chief of staff to the president, is no more. He died Friday night from COVID-19. The late chief of staff was tested positive for the disease shortly after his return from Germany, where he represented Nigeria to meet with officials of Siemens on the expansion program of the nation's power sector. Malam Kari's passion for a prosperous Nigeria and indeed loyalty to President Muhammad Buhari, many say, were never in doubt. Hate him, love him, but you can't question his loyalty to his boss. His loyalty to his boss was unquestionable, was unnegotiable, and he was literally the punching back. And he bore stoically all the insults, all the accusations, malicious concoctions, and dubious aspersions on his person. He was a great stoic man. Um, he had the um interest of this country at heart and he was able to make whatever sacrifice was necessary uh, for this country. Um, great loyalty and uh, unimpeachable uh, integrity and uh, for years and years and years to come uh, people will realize uh, just what an impact uh, he has made and in his loss we will now begin to see exactly how important he was. We worked together, he was my editor in the newspaper industry and we work very closely. He's a very hard working person, honest, sometimes temperamental, but for our cause. And many people misunderstood Abba. And may God forgive him and give him Al Jannah We lost. We lost. We lost. We lost. But what lessons are there to learn from the demise of the chief of staff to the president, Malam Abbakari, from the novel coronavirus? A question posed by NTA News to the chairman, presidential task force on COVID-19, and secretary to the government of the federation, Bos Mustafa. One of the key lessons for me is that this thing is real, and it has come home. How closer can it be to us than this? And that's what I keep saying, that we should not play with this issue. It's not a joke. It has come to ravage our people, ravage our health, and ravage our wealth as a nation. So we must take it more seriously. And uh, the, the adversaries that have gone out there about social distancing, about staying at home, they are not punitive. And I consider, I continue to emphasize that they are not punitive. They are meant for our good. So it's a big lesson that our people should not play jokes with this. In a statement by Malam Garbashehu, the presidency says no condolence visits will be allowed, but people are instead advised to pray for the repose of the soul of the late chief of staff and for those that can utilize the window permitted for movement in the FCT, a condolence register will be opened at the SGF's office from Sunday. From the State House, Adamusambu, NTA News.